guys and welcome to my video today we are doing a plan with me for the week of july 12th through the 18th and i'm going to be using the spc april 2021 mystery which is this kit i'm not sure how i feel about it i like like it and hate it at the same time so i'm excited to see how it turns out the colors are a lot of fun that is for sure the format is not her standard format. It is the ultimate mystery format. So let's go through it. Like this tall girl. She's quite cute. The glitter headers. Oh, a million little things. The bottom washi and date covers. Some extra full boxes here. And then even more full boxes there. We are not going to waste any time. I do have my inserts here, which are from Caress Press. I have my tweezers, which are from Sassy Planner Co. That's everything. It's all like the quote unquote housekeeping things. <sighs> Let's figure out what full boxes we're going to use before I get going here. What are the extra ones? I think it's just more bitches, basically. Might as well just really use the ones in the kit. Yeah, okay. Just gonna use the I'm gonna use the tall girl and then all of these boxes keep it quite simple not to really fuck around too much like usual we'll be continuing on with my random questions from the internet as I do the base oh my goodness I forgot to show you all the extra stuff I'm gonna be using for a core foil silver and then for my underlays I'm gonna do florals and light purple because these are so heavy and so much I wanted to keep the rest everything else just plain silver so that it's not too overwhelming anywho what is my favorite movie um, overall like as a grouping Harry Potter if I can't pick it as a group then the Goblet of Fire is my favorite movie my favorite song I don't know I don't really like music that much so can't really say my favorite alcoholic drink I don't do those my favorite non-alcoholic drink McDonald's Diet Coke specifically my favorite TV show um of all time is a house MD my favorite boy band, um, I was neither in sync or Backstreet Boys. Could not care less if I'm being honest with you. Favorite girl group, I could not even name one if I tried. So, this is going well. Um, what would be my ideal partner? Um, Chris, obviously. Do I want a, or do I want children? Absolutely not. And do I want a church wedding? That is also an absolutely not. Am I religious? No, I am not. Do I like reality TV? You guys answer that for me. abso fucking literally Shitty reality competition shows are my kryptonite. They get me every time. Especially ones based on love. Okay, I gotta figure out this box situation because there's a lot of people. Okay. And there's a dog. I'm gonna do a girl and a dog on this side, plus the one in the sidebar, and then the, this girl will go on the other page. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the dog up here because I want the girl down here. That's what we're going with. We have decided. We have decided the situation. Um, how many hats do I own? I have like one winter hat and like two baseball caps that I literally never wear. Am I good at pool? I'm like, okay. I wouldn't say I'm good, but I wouldn't say I'm like awful. Just like a very five out of 10 skill. What's the highest I've ever jumped into water from? Not very high because I literally hate water. Hate swimming sounds awful have I ever been admitted to a hospital no I have not <sighs> have I ever had any brushes with the law mm, no no I have not 
gotten one ticket in my life and it was in New York State. There's like yearly car inspections and I didn't get my car inspected because I knew it was going to fail. So I got a ticket because my car inspection was expired. <laughs> Have I ever been on TV? No. Have I ever met any celebrities? Not like real ones. I met like one of the winners of American Idol once, but like not one of the ones that's like actually famous now. Have I ever been to Legoland? No, and to be quite honest, it does not really interest me to ever go to Legoland, so I probably won't ever go. Pop this bitch in here. Does it have like an extra color? Yes, it does. It has extra color of blue over here. Sometimes she does that, so I just wanted to be aware. Um, have I ever done something heroic? Um, honestly, not that I can think of. Have I ever played a practical joke on somebody? I try, but then, like, I just start laughing and I blow my own cover. Have I ever been the recipient of a practical joke? Probably, but I also can't think of anything off the top of my head. So, there is that. Oh my god, I put the wrong girl on this side. Whatever, I guess, is what it is. She's already down. What's my best achievement to date? Probably being able to quit a job that made me miserable and focus on my shop. Something I'm very proud of that I was able to do. Do I prefer baths or showers? I loathe baths. I wish I liked them. They seem like a good time. Like bath bombs are so cool and smell nice. But like, no. I would rather die. I do not like. Do I towel dry, blow dry, or natural dry my hair? I like put it in like the twisty, like twist it in a towel while I'm like, getting like putting on lotion and getting into my pajamas because I'm a nighttime showerer and then I like comb it and then I just let the rest of it naturally dry have I ever built a snowman if you live in New York you've built a fucking snowman have I ever been sledding same thing if you live in New York you've been sledding we got more snow than we know what to do with have I ever flown a kite actually I have never flown a kite. It does not sound very fun, so I probably never will. And that is that on kite flying. What color socks am I wearing? I'm barefoot. I don't particularly like socks, so if I don't have to wear them, I am not wearing them. Um, if I could live anywhere, where would it be? Like anywhere in the world, I could just pop and move there. I would move to the UK. Realistically, Chris and I will probably move to Texas within the next year. We both really liked it when we were there, and we want out of New York State. This girl's really pretty. I like her Rapunzel braid. Have I ever been famous? No, I have not. Um... Would I like to be a big, I'd like to be a big celebrity. I'd probably like, I'd like to be like a B-list celebrity where like some people know who I am, but I'm not being like swarmed with paparazzi. So like a little famous, but not like really famous, if you know what I mean. It would be kind of cool. Okay, let's find the bottom washi. Okay. It's purple. Okay, let's add to this purple madness. And where's my washi overlay situation? We are going with a confetti overlay for this kit. Keeping it simple down at the bottom. Dude, would I, would I ever go on Big Brother? I've never seen Big Brother, so I don't really know the premise of it, so I can't say. How big is your TV? I don't know. Could not tell you, don't recall, don't remember, don't care. 
it does not it's too big for the wall the one that's in our room but i was like on super sale for like you know how black friday was this past year where it was just like a different deal every day of november it was like on a really big sale at target so i just fucking bought that shit and here we are it doesn't really fit okay moving on to the next one what is the most essential appliance? For me, a dishwasher. I don't like doing dishes. Hate dishes. Mm -mm, don't want to. I need that more than a microwave. I'm completely fine heating stuff up in the oven and having it take longer, but I will not be doing dishes by hand. What type of music do I like? Pop punk, mostly. Um, yeah. What is next? Have I ever been skinny dipping? I have. I like swimming to begin with, so was not really a fun time. Um, how many pillows do we sleep with? None. I, I mean, I have one, but like, I sleep on the very edge of it where it's like flat as fuck and barely even a pillow. I don't like pillows. I'm a stomach sleeper, and they make me feel like I'm choking. But yeah, I definitely am gonna have to bring in that blue extra like color labels because. As is, I feel like the blue does not look like it belongs at all in the kit as the bottom washi. So hopefully once I bring that in throughout the kit, it'll not stand out as much because right now I don't think it looks very good. So I feel like this is the only box with blue in it. Hopping in the weekend banner, I'm actually remembering. Okay, let's move into the sidebar. I saved this box for it. There we go. I don't even know if I'm in frame. Probably not because I'm a really shitty YouTuber. If we're calling me that. Okay, there's a purple or a green sidebar box. I'm definitely going to take the green because we've got a bit too much purple going on in this kit so far. So I'm going to top that with this and then I'm going to pull the big old girl out of here. And do that. She be looking cute. Let me put in my date numbers because uh, apparently I forgot to do that. Where are they? Here they are. Okay, it's the 12th through the 18th. These are Scribble Prints Co. This came with a mystery kit. Don't know which one. I don't know what foil color was meant to go with this kit. Based on what it came with, I don't keep the foil with them because I just... I don't really, I have a bunch of like the bougie boxes, but like I prefer like the more chunky patterns that I have. So I usually don't use them. <clears throat> but I like all the other stuff in the foil bundle. So I still get the ultimate. Plus I like the, the ultimate kit better. Okay. I am going to now fast forward while I put on the deco, the full box overlays. I do have this misfit of like the spring overlays. I was talking to Kirsten and she was saying how much she loves quote overlays. And I was saying I should probably try to start using them more. So I might put one like here, here, and here. And regular full box overlays on the rest. We will see. But I'm going to fast forward through this and check in with you guys when I'm zoomed in.
base. And like I said, I definitely am going to try to bring in one of these. There's three, four, five, six. There's exactly seven of this color. So we will bring it in once a day to make things feel like they go together a little bit better with this bottom washi. So the first thing I'm gonna mark on Monday is that it was payday. That's how Etsy works. I'm gonna use a purple label to mark that. And I'm gonna use these like green dollars from Carly Plans and a payday strip from my shop. And like I said, I'm gonna use all silver. That's font choice one. And then we did run to the post office this day. So I'm going to use a green little thing to mark that. And I do have a little envelope here from Carly Plans to mark it. And I've mentioned in other videos, aka the one before this, that when we go to the post office, we also get a little McDonald's breakfast on the way, you know? So I have this green Happy Meal from Scribble Prince Co. and a McDonald's script from my shop in Font Choice 1. And then I was watching the Fosters some more this day. I need to find the patterned little things wherever they are so I can make sure I pull those in as well. Found them, don't you worry. So I have this like hot pink TV from the Prairie Planner and I need to make scripts for the Fosters because I do not have any. And then the first thing I wanna mark down here is that I talked on the phone with my sister for a little bit. I never talk on the phone. I think I talked to her multiple times this day, so I wanted to put that in. Again, I forgot why. Why did I do so bad at pulling shit? Oh my God. So I'm gonna write that I talked to my sister there. Is there icon it's in the kit? Cause I'm about to just fucking do that. Is there a TV? Oh God. That'll be fine. We'll just do it that way. I'm gonna use a purple squared off box to mark working on orders. And I have a pink laptop here from that planner girl and a silver work script from my shop in font choice five. And then I actually forgot to pull something for this. So I'm just pulling the icon from the kit and I'll write it in. I was watching Love Island this evening. I never use these icons from the kit, so that'll be different. I'll write it in, okay? Cause I'm awful. On to Tuesday. Again, we went to the post office this day, but we did not get McDonald's breakfast. For some reason, I could not tell you. So I'm gonna pull in a pink little thing. It's one of the patterned ones, but the pattern's about to get covered. I have this envelope from Crafty Planner Co. And then we went to the grocery store because I really had a hankering for pasta salad. So I wanted to go get stuff to make that. So I have a green grocery bag from Carly Plans and a Wegman script from my shop in Font Choice 5. Did I literally forget stuff like every single day? Like... I don't understand what I was doing here. Oh my God. I'm a mess. I'm literally a mess. So I'm going to mark invoices. I printed invoices this day. So I'm a printer from Crafty Planner Co. And then Carly from Carly Plans came over. Because she had about 47 orders here that she placed why why oh my god i'm getting so angered with myself getting very flustered guys i do apologize and i have this little sticker of our pumpkin paper co girls our wizard girls and a with carly script from my shop i'm gonna take the half box here and do like my trick to make it a weird sized box I originally also had that I was tired as fuck on this day, but I did not pull stickers for it, so it's not getting marked. But I did work. I missed so many things for this day. I'm going to have to go pull them. I missed the last two things. So there's an orange computer from Carly Plans and a silver work script from my shop and Font Choice 1. I'm going to go grab what I missed and I'll be back. 
Okay, I have returned from being an idiot, and I did grab a Love Island script since it was already up, so I'll just pop her in there. So, me and Chris went out to dinner this day to Copper Top, and I'm telling you right now, the blue already feels like it belongs more since I have added it in throughout the two days thus far. So I'm gonna pull in a couple of little things. I'm pulling this orange one that I just roguely grabbed. Okay, so we went to Copper Top for dinner. I'm gonna use the fork and knife from Carly Plans and a Copper Top script from my shop and Font Choice One. And then I was tired as fuck, so I have a Scribble Moon from Carly Plans and a tired as fuck script from my shop and Font Choice Four. Okay, moving on to Wednesday. Here's to hoping I don't have any other tragedies as we go. The purple patterned little thing and a sleeping Ellie from Crafty Planner Co. I'm gonna mark that I slapped it in. Sleep in script is from my shop and font choice five. And then I did some planning time. Um, I'm gonna use green to mark this. And I have some orange sticker sheets from Carly Plans and a plan script from my shop and Font Choice One. And then I had a nice little YouTube binge, which I'm gonna take this pink pattern label to mark with a movie clapper icon and a YouTube binge script from my shop. Both of them are, that's in four, Font Choice Four. Chris happened to have a bit of a doctor's appointment this day. So I'm going to use an orange label to mark that. And I have a little Band-Aid sticker from Carly Plans in green to mark that. And then I worked on orders. I'm going to use a purple flag here to mark that and I have an Ellie with a pink laptop from Crafty Planner Co and a work script from my shop and font choice five and then I'm gonna pull in my blue for the day to mark Love Island which I have an orange TV from Carly Plans and a Love Island script and font choice two from my shop looks good second half First, it's my little cousin Ava's birthday. It's pink because she's a very girly girl. And I have an orange present sticker here from Carly Plans. I'm gonna pull in blue because it's my friend Kieran's favorite color. And this is to mark that I got lunch with him this day. And I have a sticker that I made myself of our bitmojis. So I'm just gonna pop that in. And then when I got home, I did film some YouTube videos. So I'm going to pull in this orange label. And I have this green film reel from Carly Plans and a film script from my shop and Font Choice 5. Down to the second half, I'm going to mark working on what is. We are going to use green to mark that. I have a purple-ish computer from Carly Plans and a work script from my shop and Font Choice One. And then we did get McDonald's. So I'm going to use a purple little thing and a chicken nugget icon from Carly Plans and a McDonald's script from my shop and Font Choice One. And then below that, I'm going to mark watching more Love Island. You guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have not pulled in a single one of my, my TV icons in this spread. And the fun fact about that is I am out of silver ones and I've been too lazy to make more because they take forever to cut. So I have a TV icon here in pink from the Prairie Planner and a Love Island script here from my shop and Font Choice 2. On to a Friday. Let me find my second page of stickers. Where are you? Here it is. Okay. First thing. 
things first on Friday. I'm going to use a green little thing to mark that we went to the post office. And I have a silver envelope from Magic Prince Co. And then as I'm sure you have guessed, we did get McDonald's afterwards to get a good old McDonald's breakfast. I get the egg and cheese, bacon egg and cheese biscuit. Usually I end up picking the bacon off because it's chewy and makes me gag. And a hash brown and a Diet Coke with no ice. In case you were wondering. Then I have a little orangish Happy Meal sticker from Scribble Prince Co. with a McDonald's script from my shop and font choice one. And then I have this sticker. I don't remember the shop's name, but I did organize some stickers that day. And our HelloFresh package did arrive. I'm going to use purple to mark that. And I have the food delivery box from Carly Plans and a HelloFresh sticker from my shop and font of choice. Five. That's a custom, but feel free to copy it and get it if you need it. And then I'm going to mark working on orders with pink. And I have an orange laptop from Scribble Prints Co. and a work script from my shop and font of choice. Five. And then we got Chinese food for dinner, which is delicious. I get crab rangoons and fried dumplings. Whenever we get it. It's my order, my go-to. I'm going to move this up a little bit as close as I can. There we go. So I have a little Chinese food icon from that planner girl and a Chinese food Misfit sticker from my shop and font choice five. Then I'm going to use my blue for the day as this label to mark that I booked flights for my Disney trip. Not the one that I'm going on in September, but I'm going back to Disney in January for my bachelorette party. So I booked some flights for me and my sister. I told her as her Christmas present I would pay for her flight. On to Saturday, it is my friend Ilza's birthday. So I'm going to mark that with a purple label, I believe. I'm going to go with that. No, she doesn't like pink, so I will not use pink, but we'll use purple. And then I have a purple Ellie with a balloon to mark that. And then we went over to my dad's house this day to do laundry, as we do every week. I'm going to grab a label in orange mark that and I have some orange hangers from Carly Plans and a laundry script in font choice five from my shop and then we got Chick-fil-A this day that rhymed <laughs> and went grocery shopping there's this and this so I'm going to use the Chicken Nugget Doodle from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a Chick-fil-A script from my shop in Font Choice 5. And then for grocery shopping, I have this grocery basket in green that I accidentally ripped from Carly Plans. And a Wegmans script from my shop. Then I'm going to use an orange square off box to mark work. I have this computer <coughs> from that planner girl and a work script from my shop in font choice five. And then I was down to zero open orders, which was fabulously exciting. So I'm going to use this You Got This Girl from Once More With Love. And then I'm going to pop in a little thing here in the blue. To mark Love Island, I have an orange TV from Carly Plans and a Love Island script in font choice two from my shop. Sunday, I slept in, which is my favorite pastime on Sundays. So I'm going to use this green label. And I happen to also pull a green sleep mask from Carly Plans and a sleep in script from my shop in font choice five. 
And then I made myself breakfast, which like may not seem like something important to mark to most people, but I never ever make breakfast. So it was quite an odd occurrence and I made eggs and toast and hash browns and it was really yummy. So I have this breakfast plate from Carly Plans to mark that. And then I filmed, which I think I'm gonna use my last bit of blue to mark. And I have another green film reel from Carly Plans and a film script from my shop in Font Choice 5 to mark it. And then I had a YouTube binge this day. We're gonna use orange, flippity flop it. I'm gonna use a movie clapper and a YouTube binge in Font Choice 4. And I did work, but I wasn't working on borders. I was designing Halloween things. So I'm gonna use a smaller box to mark that. And I have this like fox and printer from that planner girl and a work script in Font Choice 5 to mark it. Chris and I went to Buffalo Wild Wings for Dinden. Cause that's our like, we actually weren't gonna go there, but then the place we were gonna go, AKA Copper Top, had an hour wait and we didn't wanna wait. So we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. And I do have this cute Buffalo Wild Wings sticker from Crafty Planner Co. And I just have a custom with Chris from my shop to mark that. And then last but not least, we ended out the night with Love Island. Oh, I hate those both being next to each other and being patterned. No, thank you. You're gonna go, ooh. Hmm. What do I wanna use? Maybe I'll just use this chunk of washi. Yeah, that, that works. Got purple TV here from the Prairie Planner along with a Love Island script from my shop in Font Choice 2. I am gonna go fill this out while this is fast forwarding and then I will zoom out and show you guys what I have left. I do like the kit. I was undecided prior, but after filling it out and putting everything down, I do think it looks quite cute. I love the fun, bright colors. And yeah, let me go through everything. I used one whole sheet of the underlays, which I'm not going to pull out because it has all my sticker crumbs on it. But I have this one full box overlay that I'm just going to de-stash because I don't want to save that whole thing. Use all the full boxes on this page. I got the bottom washi, a couple strips, a full box, the date covers left over, two underlays left on here, about half this page, about half this page, two full boxes and some boxes down here. Use most of this page, most of this page, about half of this page. I literally only use the bottom washi on this page. And I used literally the one TV off of this page. So the ultimate kit, ultimate mystery kit is like loaded with boxes. So if you're ever struggling, then I suggest you subscribe because you will no longer be struggling. It's fire. So that is it for this spread. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then give it a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping the channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.